I really thought the owner uh, did find it out, but I was now at the repair shop here, yeah? And they filled the water and now it should work. And, and the owner was checking it three times, yeah? three times he was checking it and he always said, yeah, it works, it's not the battery. And now the machine stopped again, day 20, yeah? And so I had to go to the repair shop and, and he made it immediately and he said, it's free, it's free. I said, no, I cannot take it for free. I want to give him 100 baht. And he said, no, 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 not 100 baht. Uh, give me 20 baht, okay. I gave him 20 baht and it was fine. He said free, yeah. Do you see that awesome service here in Thailand? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So if you have something to repair in the Pak Chong, I don't know the street here, it's like Tessa Ban, number two or three. Then I recommend that motor shop here. Yeah, it's really good service. Now they made the water inside and should be, should be everything fine, yeah. I hope so. Oh, finally we got a ticket now. So, so yesterday she said, yeah, she's missing me and she want to come with me to Pattaya. Oh, yeah, there, there she's standing, yeah. So then we go over there uh, in a few days. Yeah, three days she, uh, no, no, no. And then yesterday, yeah, I want to come with you. And, uh, and my son also. <laughs> yeah, okay, then we go. We just bought a ticket. It's 218 baht from Pak Shang for one person. Pattaya. <laughs> the grandfather built this. Oh, my game. <laughs> the grandfather built it. I, I say the grandfather built it. Come in, enjoy. Sabay, sabay. So, I, I don't want to um, nerf you, yeah, I don't want to uh, disturb you with all that motorbike stuff, but it's still not working, yeah, so. Now I know why the owner wanted to give me that for free, yeah. But I gave him 1,000 because it's nearly one month I stay here, yeah. So, next time I just take it for free. And... <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I just will walk now to the fixing station and I let them do it again because Yeah, yesterday with the battery they made it also for 20 baht I gave them here, yeah, but they told me they made it for free But I gave them 20 baht just for I'm not used to it yet just to get it for free And yeah, it, it was still not the battery. So it's just some cables. So it's okay so I, my motorbike here. Uh, there are many people. I stop now. Oh, mosquito bite! Oh. Now three weeks, that little boy uh. crying sometimes. <laughs>
I mean, on my terrace. So yeah, it's it was really different this night because he was crying a lot. Usually he's calm, yeah, but tonight, not sure, maybe growing pain or something. I don't know, but yeah. And yeah, what I want to say is, so we bought a ticket now, yeah. So we bought a ticket. It's no guarantee that she comes yeah, with me, but we bought a ticket to Pattaya for her and for me. And yeah, the baby, of course, don't need it. And it was not so easy, you know. We went to the bus station, and they said, yeah, you have to go to the Ampo. Ampo means like the district office, yeah. For the city the district office so we had to go there and then we had to fill a paper and to sign what day we want to go and to give a copy of my passport and a copy of her id her national id yes and then we waited around like not too long yeah maybe 10 15 minutes and then we got some questions like uh, yeah what do you do in Pattaya? What, what do we have in Pattaya? Yeah, we said we have a room there. And uh, they said, that's ah, okay. And then she came back after five minutes. She gave us a paper which confirmed that we want to go at the 5th to Pattaya. So we went with the paper then to the bus station and gave her the paper. And she asked many questions. But okay, we answered them all. And then around after 10 minutes, we got two tickets one for her and one for me so it wasn't that easy yeah when i came here i just jumped inside the train and and i could drive yeah i think even with the train uh, they don't want to see any paper but with the bus at the bus station we couldn't get immediately a ticket she said we have to go to the ampo that means to the district office first okay we made it so we have the tickets now So, yeah, at the 5th, we plan to go, at the 5th. Yeah, so I want to show you my motorbike now. <laughs> it looks really, like, he gave it me for free, yeah? Now I know why he gave it to me for free, because, let's check that. See that? There's an electric cable, the red cable there. He is changing sometimes. And yeah, sometimes it starts, sometimes not just shaking on the cable and then it starts. <laughs> I never had that before, but okay, I don't care. I was driving a car before. I don't want a car now. Um, I like the motorcycle. I have the motorcycle driving license. I mean, I have also the car driving license international, yeah. So I could drive here usually also legal, 100% legal. But uh, I have I have the Thai driving license, so I can drive here also for motorbikes. And yeah, that's what I want to say. Yeah, it's this motorbike. Uh, I figure it out now how it works. Yeah, all right. I keep you updated. The owner just came now. coming sometimes making nice bird sounds nice flying today it's really nice warm it's like probably 30 degrees it's an afternoon now like 2 p.m. ah oh, it's beautiful weather and yeah she's now at the at the home 
and she's taking care. The son probably sleeps because in the night time he wasn't sleeping. But he was like crying around. I know it because she came here. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I told you we have the tickets now. Yeah, let's see. For the fifth. Yeah, so the thing is if I think about yeah uh, in the future um, what to do yeah usually you can go everywhere yeah I usually I like Pattaya and I mean Samui is nice also yeah or Kochang it's beautiful paradise places yeah maybe going to Samui later No tourists now there. I will see. All right, today I want to tell you how I met her. Yeah, so it was like in April, two thousand twenty. It was in Pattaya, and it was online. And at this time, there were not many people in Pattaya. Yes. And actually, I met her the first day in April, yeah, 11 April. And, oh, that big mosquito. <laughs> and, but I was already like two, three months with her in contact, yeah, so since December, but we not texted much. And so we, we had a stop, like two months we had a stop. And then I asked her in April if she is still in Pattaya. Because many were not anymore because of the pandemic, yeah. And so, after two months, I texted her. That was in April, and I asked her if she's still there, and she texted me back, yeah, she's still there. I was wondering how can she let afford, yeah, because everything was closed that time, yeah. There were nearly nobody outside. The whole nightlife was shut down in April, and. Yeah, okay, she saved something up eh, from her work. That's why she could afford uh, still to be there. And she shared a room with her friend. And that's why uh, they could afford it. And so, um, I just said, yeah, okay, let's meet because I want to make a baby. And she, yeah, I want also a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first day we met, <laughs> we made a baby. Yeah, it might sound crazy, but uh, we had only one call before, yeah? <laughs> and we texted maybe like five or six times before. <laughs> and then even we had a two, two months break, yeah, from February till April. And there was nobody anymore in Pattaya. And I, I could see her and I thought, oh, wow, she looks nice at the photo. Maybe I just asked her if she's still there. With my line and yeah <laughs> and so it happened at the first day and yeah that was the story how I met her uh, usually online at a very popular uh, dating site yeah it's free to join there you can even text messages for 30 sec or every 10 minutes yeah you can text as a man for females, it's always free. I don't want to say the name here because I don't want to make some hidden advertisements or something like that. Also, I don't know these guys who are doing that, so I have no relation with them. But they use this site like four or five months, yeah? And it's like, uh, not four or five months, four or five years already, yes? And when I started, they had like 500,000 members, yeah? Now they claim they have two million, yeah? So it was really growing in this five year span. And I had a lot of success at the site, yeah. Uh, you can find there everything from yeah, kinky stuff to freelancers to really girls who look for real love. 
students, everything yeah, from 18 up to 70. I had really from 18 up to nearly 60 everything <laughs> because I was not that kind of guy who chose a lot. Yeah, if, if it clicked, then it clicked. And for me, it's always like the outside doesn't count too much. Uh, the inner is more important for me. Yeah, And so I had some girls that were not so pretty, but I had also some really pretty girls that were also from the inside pretty. And so that that made it click for me. Yeah, And even if there was a girl who was not so pretty, I didn't care because if we clicked, uh, that means that we that we understood each other well then usually it was uh, a go for me yeah it was a no go if there was a really beautiful girl but she had some attitude or something or yeah you know how it is you know you click with some and with others you don't click and yeah and yeah, that there was a story how I met this girl. And okay, I don't want to really um, annoy you with my motorbike, but now the tire is flat. Yeah, I'm not happy with that motorbike. Yeah, really. I I'm not lucky either with that motorbike. First, it was the cable. Yeah, now I know okay how to do that stuff. Now it's the motor, uh, the flat, yeah, the tire. Oof. I hope that it's I have still two weeks, yeah, more. Okay, talk to you soon. <laughs> Marvin Lyon, never mind.